Coming up next on Passion Struck. Henry David Thoreau's concept of quiet desperation cast a revealing light on the silent struggles that many of us face today, which are often obscured by the veneer of conformity. This notion challenges us to introspect. Are we truly living authentically or just existing under the influence of external pressures? Welcome to Passion Struck. Hi, I'm your host, John R. Miles. And on the show, we decipher the secrets, tips, and guidance of the world's most inspiring people and turn their wisdom into practical advice for you and those around you. Our mission is to help you unlock the power of intentionality so that you can become the best version of yourself. If you're new to the show, I offer advice and answer listener questions on Fridays. We have long form interviews the rest of the week with guests ranging from astronauts to authors, CEOs, creators, innovators, scientists, military leaders, visionaries, and athletes. Now, let's go out there and become Passion struck. We are only 10 days away from the launch of my new book, Passion Struck. In this episode, I want to explore a compelling backdrop that sets the stage and context for the book's narrative. Henry David Thoreau's profound words, the mass of men lead lives of quiet desperation, echo a stark reality in our modern fast-paced society. We often find ourselves ensnared in a relentless cycle of monotonous work and fleeting leisure, all while pursuing materialistic achievements. This endless race for wealth, status, and possessions frequently culminates in a life characterized by more of a void than by fulfillment and authenticity. We chase promotions, tick boxes on to-do lists, and accumulate possessions, only to find that the things that we thought would bring us happiness, and a fulfilling life leave us with a profound sense of quiet desperation. The quest for authentic living, then, isn't just a superficial pursuit of monetary possessions. It's about a deeper rebellion against the societal norms that dictate our lives, a refusal to settle for a life defined by someone else's standards. It's about breaking free from quiet desperation and reclaiming the power to author our own stories for a truly fulfilling life. So how do we untangle ourselves from this web of dissatisfaction? Can we truly break away from this predestined path or is it an inevitable aspect of our existence? How do we step off of the proverbial treadmill and embark on a journey towards authentic living. In this episode, I will explore all these pressing questions. I'll delve into the nature of quiet desperation, its origins, its impacts, and most importantly, how you can break away from its grasp to embrace a life that truly aligns with your inner self. In my book, Passion Struck, 12 Powerful Principles to Unlock Your Purpose, and ignite your most intentional life, I delve into the concept of quiet desperation. Wrong insight from Henry David Thoreau's Timeless Insights. Amid the 19th century transcendentalist movement, Henry David Thoreau captured a profound aspect of human nature in his observation that many people live in a state of quiet desperation. This insight stemmed from his experiences in Walden, where he sought simpleness and mindfulness. Thoreau's ambition wasn't for material success, or societal approval. Instead, he sought the essence of life itself, a life lived fully and authentically. He embraced the world with a sense of wonder and direct experience, relentlessly pursuing the sublime and transcendent aspects of both nature and human spirit. His goal was self-knowledge and maintaining personal sovereignty against societal expectations. This message is a reminder that real contentment and fulfillment come from within. It encourages us to look inward, to understand ourselves better, and to find the courage to live authentically, in line with our true desires and values, rather than conforming to external expectations. Thoreau's philosophy is a call to action for anyone who feels trapped in a life that doesn't reflect their true self, urging them to break free and embrace a more genuine and fulfilling experience. Thoreau's notion of quiet desperation when viewed through a contemporary lens, highlights the silent struggles that we often face today. It's a call to ask, are we really living authentically or merely existing under external pressures? Recent studies from organizations such as the research firm Gallup indicate that there are over 900 million people in 142 countries worldwide 
that are grappling with a sense of unfulfillment, demonstrating the vastness of this issue. A staggering number reflects a collective experience, dissatisfaction in careers, relationships, and a disconnect from personal passions. Thoreau's insights echo in the modern predicament, underscoring the relentless chase of external desires, leading us onto a hedonic treadmill where the fulfillment of one desire only spurs another, trapping us in a continuous loop of want and dissatisfaction. This endless cycle termed abundance denial encapsulates the paradox of achieving what we want but never feeling that it's enough. Our happiness often resets after achieving a goal, propelling us into the perpetual quest for the next achievement, leading us back to square one. Furthermore, the pursuit of these external desires comes at a cost, requiring a trade-off of our time, labor, and crucially, our principles and dreams. Thoreau's philosophy then becomes a clarion call for a life of meaning and authenticity, one that finds contentment not in external accolades, but in the internal peace and alignment that comes with being our true selves. It encourages a rebellion against societal norms, this matrix we find ourselves in, and the chains of quiet desperation that keep us stuck there, urging us to reclaim our power to author our own stories and lead a life of genuine fulfillment. His teachings are a prompt to reassess our life choices and seek happiness through personal authenticity and inner harmony rather than the endless external pursuits. So this begs the question, how do people get stuck in the confines of quiet desperation? As we navigate the complexities of modern life, three powerful forces emerge as the main culprits. The allure of materialism, the trap of comfort, and the burden of responsibilities. Each collectively shapes our life's trajectory, much like currents steer a river's course. Let's tackle each one, starting with the mirage of materialism. The world that we inhabit today is constructed around desires, ranging from the latest technology gadgets to society's extravagant luxuries, which promise happiness but deliver emptiness. As individuals conform to the allure of materialism, they frequently find themselves deterring from the past that align with their authentic desires. Tim Kasser, in his groundbreaking work, The High Price of Materialism, reveals a stark truth, a vivid picture of how our consumer-driven culture is intricately intertwined with our joy and mental health. Chasing wealth and possessions, as Kasser highlights, is a slippery slope to dissatisfaction, encompassing a spectrum of psychological turmoil from anxiety to a profound sense of emptiness. It's like racing after the horizon, a futile chase where real satisfaction is beyond on reach, leaving behind a hollow void where true joy should reside. Next is the seductive trap of comfort. Comfort, a word that speaks of release and ease, but also a hidden snare that binds us to the familiar and unchallenging. Our primal instincts, honed over millennia, drive us towards this safety net, a relic from our past when comfort meant survival. Today, this pursuit keeps us cocooned in our comfort zones, safe but stagnant and oblivious to the extraordinary potentials within our grasp. This revelation is sobering. When we realize the cost of our comfort, it dawns on us how we have unwittingly surrendered to a life of quiet desperation. Therefore, striking a balance between the comfort-seeking instincts ingrained within us and the demands of our evolved environment becomes essential in living our authentic lives. And then lastly, there's the weight of responsibility. Between the calm surface of many lives lies a turbulent undercurrent of unspoken struggles that are hidden beneath the mask of responsibility. Life's journey piles on obligations like layers, mortgages, bills, family duties, each adding weight to the anchor that ties us to routines devoid of passion. These burdens often feel inescapable, chaining us to paths that offer stability but starve the soul. Peeling back these layers reveals a universal truth. Beneath the stoic exterior of every individual lies a heart aching for mischaste opportunities and unrealized dreams. Recognizing this invites a deep empathy and understanding, acknowledging that behind every set of weary eyes might be a story of sacrifices and dreams deferred. Therefore, we must break free from the mirage of materialism, the trap of comfort, and the burdens of responsibilities. But how do we even recognize that we are showing signs of quiet desperation? We often stroll through our daily lives, blind to the subtle signs that scream quiet desperation especially feelings of insignificance and fading relevance. These signals are masterful at evading our grasp, slipping unnoticed unless we consciously pause and reflect. To detect these whispering echoes of discontent, we must 
journey inward, sensitively exploring the domains of our emotions and the patterns of our daily actions. Here's a guide pinpointing the telltale signs of quiet desperation. The first sign is endless monotony, a deep-seated feeling of stagnation where daily tasks become a repetitive loop, devoid of excitement or growth, leading to feelings of irrelevance in the grander narrative of life. The second sign is diminished passion, a noticeable waning of enthusiasm or interest in activities that once felt meaningful, sparked by joy and engagement. Third is emotional withdrawal, this growing emotional detachment, especially in our relationships, where our interactions not only feel superficial, but also as if one's presence no longer matters. The fourth sign is unhealthy escapism, turning to harmful coping strategies, such as substance abuse or compulsive behaviors, where we try to dull emotional pain or evade reality. The fifth sign is chronic exhaustion. This is when enduring fatigue isn't alleviated by rest, suggesting a deeper emotional and mental drain that goes beyond physical tiredness. The sixth sign is resigned acceptance. This is when we accept and persist in situations that are unfulfilling, driven by a sense of hopelessness or a belief that change is impossible. The seventh sign is dwindling curiosity. This is when we feel a declining interest in exploring new experiences, ideas, or personal growth. It can be a sign of feeling disconnected or as if one's interests no longer hold importance. The eighth sign is goal-setting paralysis. This is when we have difficulty either designing or pursuing meaningful objectives, often accompanied by a sense of aimlessness or feeling that one's goals are trivial. And the ninth sign is pervasive discontent, an enduring sense of dissatisfaction, even when we find ourselves in traditionally fulfilling or joyful moments, which signals deeper emotional turmoil. Recognizing these signals is a crucial step towards self-reflection and transformative action. By confronting and addressing these markers, we can initiate a journey away from the grip of quiet desperation, steering our lives towards a realm of authenticity, contentment, and enriched existence. So how do you go from quiet desperation to becoming passion struck? It's all about transforming your life with intention and authenticity. In Passion Struck, I guide readers through how to break free from the state of quiet desperation by embracing the concept of living a passion-struck life is exemplified by inspirational figures like Oprah Winfrey or Novak Djokovic. This book is about more than escaping a state of discontent. It's about actively shaping a life infused with passion, perseverance, and intentional action. Drawing upon Thoreau's philosophy, passion-struck underscores the joy of simple pleasures and the contentment found in its wild, unfettered moments. This philosophy isn't about abandoning ambitions or worldly delights. It's about pursuing your passions by choice, not out of compulsion. It's a path to embracing life's fullness without being chained to materialistic achievements or societal benchmarks. The book introduces 12 transformative principles to help break free from quiet desperation. Let's dive into four pivotal ones. The first is the shift to confront fear. This is all about transforming your inner dialogue. Confronting fear is an essential step in overcoming quiet desperation and creating an authentic life. It involves changing the way that you talk to yourself internally. Instead of being your own critic, become your own coach. It empowers you to tackle challenges with courage and confidence. When you shift from a critical inner voice to a supportive and encouraging one, you're more likely to take risks and embrace opportunities. This change in mindset helps you face your fears head on, ultimately leading to personal growth and a sense of authenticity. Second, is the shift to set healthy boundaries. Setting boundaries is a crucial step to break free from quiet desperation. It involves defining and maintaining healthy limits that protect your values and personal space. When you establish boundaries, you prevent others from encroaching on your time, energy, and values. This shift enables you to prioritize what truly matters to you, reducing the sense of overwhelm and allowing you to focus on what truly aligns to your authentic self. The third is the shift to reinvent yourself and to challenge societal norms. To to escape quiet desperation, it's vital to recognize the need for change and to challenge the societal expectations that we all find ourselves in. This shift encourages you to rediscover your passions, your values, and your aspirations. By embracing this shift, you move away from conventional measures of success and instead prioritize personal growth and fulfillment. It's an opportunity to reinvent yourself, to align with your genuine aspirations, and to live a life that resonates with your authentic self. Fourth is a shift to craft your life intentionally. Living intentionally means making conscious effort to align your daily actions with your core values and crafting a purpose-driven life 
that reflects who you truly are. By living intentionally, you ensure that your actions and your choices are in harmony with your values and aspirations. This not only brings a sense of authenticity to your life, but also helps you find fulfillment and satisfaction in the choices that you make, ultimately breaking free from the trap of quiet desperation. By adopting these shifts, you can transform your life from one of quiet desperation to one that is passion struck, a life of self-realization, deep fulfillment, and genuine joy. Just as Thoreau sought simplicity and mindfulness, this book guides you in crafting a life that mirrors your innermost values and aspirations, turning the simplest aspects of life into profound sources of meaning and fulfillment. So this leads me to ask, are you going to dare to live authentically? Henry David Thoreau, while cautioning us about the perils of quiet desperation, also inspired us with a potent call to action. He writes, if one advances confidently in the direction of his dreams and endeavors to live the life which he has imagined, he will meet with a success unexpected in common hours. Thoreau's wisdom encapsulates the essence of authentic living, the belief that anyone can attain a life of true authenticity by committing to and courageously pursuing their dreams. The pursuit of authenticity offers a powerful escape from the grip of quiet desperation, leading us on an enriching journey towards a deeper sense of purpose. It's a journey marked by introspection, resilience, and the audacity to redefine success on our terms. In transversing this path, we peel away layers of discontent, stepping into the brilliance of an authentically lived life, one in harmony with our deepest values, passions, and a profound sense of fulfillment. By adopting the passion-struck principles, we navigate away from the shadows of quiet desperation towards becoming the architects of our own destinies. This transformation is a gradual process that's achieved through consistent, intentional steps. Each small, purposeful action that we take weaves together to form a significant shift towards a life of authenticity. This quest for an authentic life is a long-term commitment, a marathon of self-discovery and growth. It's a continuous process of peeling back the layers, silencing the noise, and reclaiming the power to define your own happiness. So shed the masks, embrace the imperfections, and confidently advance in the direction of your dreams and your authentic self. I hope you all enjoyed the show, and I wanted to thank everyone who wrote in this week and especially those who listen to today's episode. You're about to hear a preview of the Passion Struck podcast that I did with Judd Brewer. I welcome Judd back on the program to discuss his brand new book, The Hunger Habit, where we explore how healthy eating can be evolved using powerful habits. With anxiety, we learn to worry. But with eating, this is where comfort food comes in. This is where the term stress eating comes in. If we eat some food, our brain says, hey, that tasted pretty good. Why don't you eat when you're stressed? And so we start to learn these habits of eating, not when we're hungry, but when we're stressed, when we're bored, when we're angry, or just simply when we see food, because it's like, oh, that looks good. Boom. We often lose the ability to really check in with ourselves to ask, am I actually hungry? That's what habit is all about is automatic behavior. The joke is about this on a seafood diet. I see food and I eat it, that type of thing. Well, that's our survival brain that's been co-opted in modern times. Remember that we rise by lifting others. And if you found today's discussion on quiet desperation inspiring, then definitely share it with those that you love and care about. In the meantime, do your best to apply what you hear on the show so that you can live what you listen. And until next time, go out there and become passion struck. Mm -hmm.